Hey everyone, and welcome to another video of Terraform. Uh, my name is Tia from DevOps Easy Learning, and today we'll be going through Terraform Lifecycle Prevent Destroy. And I kind of have one already that talk a little bit about uh, create before destroy, right? If you kind of want to check that one out, you can go ahead and check our, our playlist, right? Now, let's say you basically have a resource in AWS that you don't want somebody to use Terraform and shut it down by mistake just by typing Terraform destroy. How are you going to prevent that? You need to use a life cycle policy. I know that uh, uh, AWS EC2 instance basically have uh, one example like that. We will test it and see if that one really applied to Terraform, where if you go through uh, AWS console and you create an EC2 instance, if you enable uh there is a parameters that if you enable that and i will show you guys somebody will not be able to destroy that instance through uh, the console and we also test that and see if that one apply uh to terraform right now i'll go ahead and click on this little icon here it's going to take me to my github repository and i'll also make sure that i put the link of this uh repository to the description of this video so that if you want to go ahead and follow the the exact steps that I will be doing here, you are more than welcome to do so. I'll go ahead and check out this repository. I'm going to open this in VS Code. Let me go ahead and kind of navigate here to the root of this repository. And this is where I kind of put my code here and I will tap code here to open this in VS Code. Um, it's going to open the entire repository and that's not what I want. I want to open a specific folder that we'll be using, which is prevent, uh, destroy. And that is the little hands on that we're going to use here. Let me now kind of use code here to open just this one. Here, I have the first example here. In this example, this, what does this mean? We have uh, our Terraform block and here we kind of have the provider and here we have the resource here that is going to create an instance in AWS, right? All this stuff here are set by default and I have everything in my account. Make sure that you change all this value accordingly, right? This is the AMI that I had code and here I have, I want to create a T2 micro. In here I have this key already in my account. I have this VPC security group already in my account. I just go ahead and kind of launch a VPC security group through the console where I open uh, all traffic. And here, I have, this is one subnet uh, within my default VPC. And this is just a root device. Now here, life cycle policy, life cycle policy. Here I'm saying prevent, destroy. Let me go ahead and kind of comment this out. Prevent destroy. What does this mean? If you launch this EC2 instance and somebody come back and try to fire Terraform and say Terraform apply. And when you say Terraform apply, if you don't comment this out, you will not be able if this was there. Let us test this thing and see as we enable this prevent destroy and see what will happen. If you navigate to this folder, which is just example zero one, and let me type ls that's zero zero one zero zero one, and have Terraform in it, and we we'll apply this thing to create that EC2 instance, and when we create that, we'll go ahead and test and try to destroy it and see what will happen. I will just go ahead here and type Terraform apply. And when this is done, we'll go ahead. I will say yes. And we'll see if prevent destroy, we'll go ahead and enable something that we we'll call termination protection. Because in AWS, EC2 basically have, I basically like what AWS did with EC2 and also an S3 bucket. With S3 bucket, you cannot delete an S3 bucket if it is not empty, even through Terraform. You have to empty the bucket before you can destroy that, right? That is one extra layer of security. Also, with EC2 instance, if you go ahead and enable termination protection, what happens is that 
somebody will not be able to destroy that EC2 instance through AWS console if he have not yet disabled that. Let me go ahead here and type Terraform destroy. Like we enable, um, we, we just say, hey, we prevent destroy, right? Whether we don't want to destroy this. I will try to destroy it. As you guys can see here, what happened here, what happened here cannot be destroyed. But let us go to AWS console. Why? It cannot be destroyed just because of this life cycle policy prevent destroy. And that is why if you have a resource, a critical resource that you don't want somebody to destroy it by mistake, just learning Terraform and he just joined the organization and fire up Terraform destroy. If just, it will just through this error that it cannot destroy. And if the person is not really aware of Terraform, he will not understand that he needs to come in here and comment this lifecycle policy out so that he can destroy the resource, right? And that is going to save you. Now, let us go to AWS console and test something. If he had just clicked here and checked that EC2 instance, it will be up and running already. Now, the question is this. If we go, let me check the setting of this. If I go to action and go to instance setting and check the termination protection as you guys can see here the termination protection is not enabled right prevent destroy in terraform will not enable the termination protection which means even though i cannot destroy this instance through terraform i can still go ahead and destroy this instance through the console if you hit here i'll go ahead and terminate the instance and there is nothing that will stop me from doing that as you guys can see the instance is going down the instance is going down let me refresh uh, what happened. Let me refresh one more time. Let me select that bash and host again, and I'll go here and go ahead and say terminated instance. And here, an EBS or this little screen, are you sure that you want termination? protection that is disabled yes i know that it is disabled and i want to terminate it instance and here as you guys can see initializing shutting down the instance yep i didn't pay attention the first time here shutting down the instance and very soon the instance will be down what happened here is that we are able to terminate this through the console isn't it and let me go ahead and kind of boot it up again through terraform and when that instance is up, because Terraform will notice that, hey, somebody destroyed that instance through the console. Instance cannot be destroyed. And, and I'm not trying to destroy. I'm trying to just apply. Okay. Terraform noticed that, hey, somebody just removed that instance through the console. And it will go ahead and recreate the instance. And when this is done, we'll go ahead now and enable the termination protection and you get we see that when that is enabled even through aws console you guys will not be able you won't be able to destroy that instance through the console if you don't disable the termination protection and we'll test a couple of stuff and see if we can destroy the instance using terraform when the termination protection is enabled and we'll go ahead and remove this in the code. Now, this is good. Let us go ahead now and test another scenario. The instance is up and running. If you go ahead now and enable termination protection, go here and go to the settings and change the termination protection. If you say enable and save. Now, can we destroy this instance now through the console? If you go here and say terminate, as you guys can see, termination protection is enabled. If you hit, okay, it is not going fail to terminate. It will not. That means in this case, even through the console, we cannot. Now, let us see. When we enable, when we enable prevent destroy, and if you really want to destroy this resource, the only thing that you need to do is to come here and comment out this resource. And you can go to your console and type Terraform destroy. Let us type destroy and see the behavior. And we will see if you enable termination protection through the console, that will stop Terraform from destroying the resource. 
as you can see here, Terraform is destroying the resource, right? Be very, very careful. Don't think that if you go to the console and you enable termination protection, Terraform will not destroy the resource. Terraform will go ahead and destroy that resource, right? You need to understand that. And this is what is going on down right now. Terraform is shutting down this resource. Terraform is destroying this resource, right? That means the prevent destroy. It is very, very useful in Terraform. As soon as you set this lifecycle policy, prevent destroy, what happened here is that if somebody wants to make any modification in here. If somebody is trying to destroy this EC2 instance, he have to comment the lifecycle policy. If they ask you to decommission this EC2 instance and the lifecycle policy prevent destroy was enabled, it was true. The only thing that you need to do here to destroy this to decommission, which means destroy this EC2 instance is to comment this lifecycle policy. If you comment the lifecycle policy, Terraform will go ahead and destroy that. But if you don't comment out this lifecycle policy, Terraform will never, never destroy this EC2 instance. Terraform will never, never do that. Never, right? It will never, never. There's another one here called ignore changes, right? And this is something if you want to know how to use the lifecycle policy ignore changes please let me know in the comment below and i will go ahead and create another video that will kind of explain how to use a lifecycle policy ignore changes we have a prevent destroy already in our playlist and right now we are going through the prevent destroy we are going through the prevent uh destroy and we we uh, we have the create before destroy i mean in our playlist already and right now we are going through the prevent destroy and this uh, the last one that i use also a lot in the real world called ignore changes right there are some uh, there are some scenario where I basically want to ignore changes. I don't want something to change. I just ignore. Let's say somebody make a modification. Please, I say, please Terraform, don't take this one into cons in, into consideration, right? Keep everything as it is. And that's it for this video, guys. Please, if you like this video, let me know in the comment below. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so, so that you will be notified when we publish a new video. And also, please follow us on social media, on social media platform, such as uh, uh, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and so on. Thank you. Bye-bye.